The legions of Rome march through the forests of Germania, and unknown to them, the tribes of the region have risen up and are preparing to ambush them to destroy this huge Roman army that is invading their lands. What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rome 2 Battlefield today using the DEI mod, uh, or also known as Davide et Impera if you are unknown to the mod. It adds a load of new units, it's a huge overhaul, adds new factions, uh, playable factions, so definitely is worth checking out if you haven't done today. Uh, don't do, check it out today, 100% would. Um, but yeah, so we have the Swaby and I'm pretty sure we have... Um, Another German tribe, but I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the, Lug uh, the Lugii, or whatever they renamed them. And we have two Roman armies here today. And, I mean, we have some excellent, like, units here. I mean, they're all so different. They've, like, got all different different types of auxiliary cohorts and legionary cohorts. And they look amazing, amazing units. I mean, look at this. Uh, this is an African, like, cohort here. I mean, I don't know what they're doing in the middle of Germania, but they look amazing. And, uh, I mean, looks like we're going to have a charge straight off the bat here. We've got some cavalry that's going to charge straight in. By the looks of it. Oh, it's just moving. It's not even charging. These guys here are just, uh, I don't know exactly know what they're doing, but... I mean, yeah, it looks um, like they're just going to stand there and just have a standoff. I don't know. But uh, we're using a camera mod today. I'll leave the link for it in the description. As shots are already being fired. So, I mean, the units look excellent today. And, uh, yeah, 100% we'll try it out. I mean, yeah, I think some archers hidden off here on the side. And, I mean, they're throwing javies now at the uh, cavalry that's so dry in front of them. And we can see some uh, some units here in the forest now starting to appear. Some heavy melee infantry there with spears. But, yeah, the column is starting to halt. And it's being shot upon. They need to do something. I mean, these Equites uh, legionnaires here look like they're in a bit of a, a bit of a trouble. But we'll have a look at some of the units further back. And, uh, well... Certainly the unit that they'll be wanting to pretend, uh, protect sorry, is this one here, the Cohors Aquilae, with its uh, eagle, the infamous Eagles of Rome. There he is. I mean, look awesome. Really, really does. But, uh, yeah, it looks like... Well, it doesn't look like anything really too much is happening. I mean, the uh, general is going to move out, it seems like, over here. Equites Singularis. That's a cool name. Yeah, there's just such wide variety of stuff. I have no idea what's going on exactly right now. Here we go though. I think the ambush is about to begin. This was sent in by a member of the Discord, so I have really got no idea how this is going to go, but it's not a long replay. So I presume that uh, it's got to be either pretty decisive or, well, quick, one or the other. But we've got some sort of like berserker sort of unit here with like axes. These guys look pretty cool. We've got hammers as well. But they're all getting ready into position. It doesn't seem like the uh, Germans are quite, just quite ready. Which, I mean, benefit to the Romans. We've got, like, an a Italian volunteer unit here or something. This is an interesting unit. I don't know. I mean, they just look... Volunteerum or whatever they're called. That sounds like vol uh, volunteers to me. But, I mean, yeah, it seems like the main, like, more elite armies back here. This is, like, all the legions. Back here, and then the first bit is more the cohorts, which kind of makes sense. I mean, um, you would have like a separate cohort army and a Roman army, but it's kind of interesting to see that they uh, didn't really split it half and half. I mean, there are some cohorts in this one, like some legions in this bit, but not many. But yeah, they're carrying on to march, they are still marching. Can only still see the Swaby. There is another German tribe here, as already mentioned. But if you're enjoying the content at the moment and would like to see more DEI on the channel, then do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I mean, this camera mod just makes DEI look so nice. God, I mean, their armor just looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, they are really marching past them. We've got some more units appearing. These guys are really bright. Are these like a druid unit? No, they're not. They're just really bright. I can see them from miles off. And they have, like, really bright shields and armor and, uh, like, plumes. And there's more of them there. More of them have appeared. I mean, the Romans, if they can see them, should surely start to, uh... Should probably make some sort of action. They, they literally can see the cavalry at the end of this road. They can see this. Um... They might want to act. Because otherwise, they deserve to die. <laughs> because they are not acting. On the... On the intel they have. But this is not supposed to be Teutonburg Forest, this is just be some sort of generic uh, 
sort of ambush at the Roman's face to see what happens. And it looks like the Romans are reacting. They look like they can see these guys here and they look like they're going to turn and face them. I mean, they, the Germans might want to act and actually attack. Well, it looks like they are anyway. They turned and faced in the wrong way. What is... <laughs> they look awesome. They do look awesome. And here we go. The Germans are finally attacking. The Germans are finally attacking. The Romans are forming up. And these legionnaires are uh, throwing their javis off. And you can see as the uh, Germans are coming off the hills. And they are going to go manic. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Smash at their shields, men. Break their shield wall. And yeah, the legionnaires are uh, under pressure now. Oh, this is good. I, think, I can imagine that yeah, combat even, they're doing fine. But oh my gosh, this looks awesome. This truly does look awesome. And we've got the cohorts on this side. Th these are definitely units you want to go after, like the uh, auxiliary cohorts. I want to definitely try and take these guys out. But I mean, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where the, uh, where's the eagle cohort? Is it far back down the line? I don't think it's under threat, is it? It's surely not under threat. They've not allowed it to get attacked, have they? I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, here it is. This has got to be it. Yeah, the cohort's at clay is well in reserve. Keep the eagle safe. Keep the standard safe. At all costs. Oh my god, the arrow's coming down though from the Germans. They are picking off all of these archers. They are getting absolutely peppered. They are just in no man's land. As the Romans just battle it out here. This is... Going to be truly a blue battle. But I mean the Romans sort of got the element of surprise against them. Uh, but the armor and training that they have should help them prevail to start with. But I mean surely there's numbers. These are... Oh here you go. Here's the other faction. This is, yeah, is the Lugi. And they have more elite sort of troops. Very heavy melee. I mean, they can definitely get in amongst this uh, defense here if they, if they really try. They can get in this gap here. There's a gap here now but forming up. This African cohort going to have to go back to where they were. They're going to have to go back here. More Germans appearing out of the woods. Oh, God. Yeah, this African cohort is going to get flanked and probably feel a lot of pain here. Let's look further down the line. Let's see how the uh, proper like legions of Rome are doing. They seem to be holding the ground quite well. Yeah, I mean these units are losing decisively. It's medium against very heavy. And here you go, like the cohorts are coming into the flank. The centurions like push forward, men. Let's kill every single one of these barbarians. What? Oh, that's interesting. You can see which cohort that was. It's the 10th cohort. Okay, so that's like one of the... I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be one of like the new recruits or unit, like cohorts. Oh, actually, no, I think the 10th cohort's actually one of the more like... More elite ones. Along with the first, and obviously. And I think the... Uh, the... Fourth or the third is another elite unit. They choose some really bizarre numbers to decide to be their elite cohorts. But I mean, yeah, as like the, the Romans are flanking stuff. But the Germans keep coming. And the Roman armor is just so shiny and with this like mod that's on. It just looks awesome. But I'm going to put it in slow-mo for a bit. I'm going to put it in slow-mo. We'll, uh, we'll just kind of see what the chaos is going on. So, I mean, we've got a Roman unit all the way deep in combat. Like, okay. It's like some uh, equites over here. Deep in enemy lines. Uh, being chased down by some of those elite, uh, very heavy cavalry. It looks like most of the Swaby units are starting to break. We've got one unit here. Yeah, it says African cohorts are starting to break. It's the only Roman unit I can see that's actually wavering. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, most of the rest of the cohorts and stuff like that are fully engaged. I think the rear guard is basically dealt with. Everything on this side seems to be de dead. And uh, the main Eagle cohort is still very safe in the center. So that's excellent to see. Will the Germans get to it? Will they be able to kill the standard bearer? I guess that's sort of like the objective, you could say. If you can kill this guy here. But, uh, who knows? Who knows? But this is about the size of a legion. It's probably one too many... E uh, well, for it to be a legion, there's one too many auxiliaries. Because 
it needs to be a full legion of legionnaires. And here you go. They're now fighting the uh, the first cohort. Let's see if the standard bearer can hold his own. He's got a small shield and he's trying to fight with an eagle but, uh, standard, so he's going to have a hard time. Looks like they're sending up more legionnaires. Oh, I thought they were going to send this legionnaire cohort that I can see on the flank here to uh, help the first cohort, but no. I'd flank. Flank and help the first cohort out. I mean, it's a 300-man unit, though. They should be fine. But, I mean, they are starting to lose other legionary units. They are getting cut off at the front here. So, yeah, I mean, poor, like, poor guys that surrender here. No, don't surrender. Fight to the death. Otherwise, you'll be sacrificed to the gods. And there you go. You can see them over there. Say they're sort of being captured. They sacrificed to their weird gods. But, I mean, yeah, they're actually getting focused. Uh, not pressed quite a lot now. Got a heavy, like, a sword cohort unit here. And the green shields. They're, they're doing their best. They've been fighting a long time, though. Or a long time for this uh, this ambush, anyway. And you can see here, they're getting in behind. The Germans are in behind. They're going to try and take out this legionary cohort. The archers are desperately trying to just, like, support their uh, front lines. But, I mean, they need to get all these reserves over here. Up, like, these legionary cohorts, get them up. These archers are okay. They should be okay in combat, I would have thought. And we've got, like, a... Oh, this is interesting. What unit's this? Got a cus when this general gets out of the way. It's a uh, Custodes Pretori. It's like a Praetorian guard or something. It looks like it. They look awesome though. So I mean, definitely good to see them in combat. I mean, it looks like the oh my gosh, there's a huge flank going on here by the Romans. They've got all their cavalry over here, trying to pin down one unit of uh, heavy cavalry of the Germans. Okay, I did not realize they were fighting out in the woods over here. And I mean, well, we'll just get rid of the foliage. You can see, yeah, under here there is a whole nother fight going on. Fighting it out in the shrubbery. Oh, the banner carrier is dead. No. No, the standard bearer has fallen. Hopefully that's not the case in the first cohort. We're going to have a look at a moment and see if the eagle has fallen. But yeah, I mean, like, looks like over here they're doing a fine job holding back the... The barbarians. I mean, I think they're just holding them so until these uh, cavalry can come in and hammer an anvil. I mean, they already are, actually. Um, but yeah, the Romans are starting to, to make it, instead of being like an ambush, it's now becoming sort of a line battle, which favours the Romans a lot more. You can see the Germans here trying to flank around in the forest. But uh, we'll put the foliage back on so it looks a bit more aesthetic so you can't see what's going on. Unless you're fighting out in the track. And uh, this is the main, this is the first cohort here. I can't see the standard bearer. I think he must have fallen. No. Well, imagine that someone picked up the standard. Until the eagle cohort dies or retreats, the standard and the eagle are safe. Every single man here needs to die for that standard bearer, for the eagle. Eagle lost, honor lost, honor lost, all lost. The eagle, like the like, the shields look, look so glorious. Look so, I don't know. Look just perfect. They just look perfect. And what we got here? Another legionary unit going in. There seems to be a lot of legionary still like left in reserve that can come up, and it's turning into a very much of a grindy battle. I mean. I think the Romans have got the advantage because they can just, they can take the grind. Oh, but we've got, a, oh, there's a general in, uh, in fighting here. Did not realize this. Equites Singularis is now having to be aided by some uh, Equites from the Legion. The cavalry contingent sent up. It, yeah, each Legion was like, not obviously, didn't just have Legionnaires in it. It obviously had... It usually had some cohorts assigned to it, but they also did have a cavalry, like, force of about, I want to say, 150. It might have been more than that. Might have been more than 150. But, uh, yeah, they all had that. But, I mean, you also have, like, auxiliary cavalry units that might be assigned to your unit. I mean, these equites are actually losing in combat. What are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting that heavy shock down there. Yeah, and they're losing. They're losing 59 men, and they're wavering. Wow. Maybe the uh, Romans don't have it. The cavalry seems to be taking a lot of losses. 
if you find yourself riding in green fields, do not fear, for you're in Elysium. Let me know if you know what quote that's from. Uh, what film that's from. That quote. I'm pretty sure I got that right. If you know, then uh, hats off to you. Let me know in the comments. Defend the eagle to the last. That is your orders. And there's another cohort coming up. They seem to still have endless supplies of cohort. I mean, this is a pretty battered unit. They do have, seem to have some pretty battered ones. You probably want to send them in first. I mean, this one's supposedly engaged, but it's not really. They are starting to lose a lot of troops, the Romans. You can see where they've been fighting. Like, the entire battle. And there is a, a lot of dead. Go with that. There is a lot of dead. Poor, poor men sent to die and look at the the centurion there he's a hardened veteran ordering his men to hold the line fight to the last and if he if the enemy doesn't kill them he will oh no he's dead no well the men might run now the centurion's been cut down no they fight on this little hill they need every centurion they can get to hold the line oh look at that a unit of 130 Breaking and they're fo like retreating in like perfect un like ranks. They got routed by some archers. Jeez, that's some scary archers. Clearly, well, I mean the Romans are starting to flank around here. Actually, are they? They look like they were. Maybe they're not. The Romans are having a really hard time. And this is a uh, legionnaire. Um. Clibinorium or something like that. It's a different unit to what we... Oh, it's got like the... Uh, it's like more of the elite one with the armoured, like, right arm that they have. It's like the armoured legionnaires in like the vanilla. Well, they could be useful. There's 124 of them left. They're pretty fresh. You might want to send them into a flank, do some damage. This cohort unit here is losing. Cohort's Evercarta here. The Evercarta units. They've got yellow shields. I like that. Mixing it up. Got like the Spanish bull on there. Maybe they are a Spanish unit. Who knows? The Romans are just shouting over their shields. We've just come here to civilize you. And then the uh, the Germans are just like, we don't need civilizing. I mean, this guy here, this helmet looks very Roman, actually. Like the officer for... Uh, this German unit. It's got kind of a Roman sort of... It reminds me of like a Histati Principe sort of helmet. Don't know if that's what they kind of gone for there, but... It's not very not very German. We'll get rid of the shrubbery so you can see what's going on in here. And it looks like... Have the Romans formed... Yeah, the Romans have formed a... Uh, a square. And I like it. It's kind of like one outer square and then an inner square. And that is really, really cool. And uh, they're routing a lot of stuff. They probably should have done that earlier. This defensive square is like clearly very effective. And the uh, battle here in the shrubbery over here, in the shrubbery over here is doing clearly quite well. They routed everything here. I mean, apart from the general, they've done quite well here. And uh, I mean, it looks like the Swaby general over here is still causing some issues. He's routed uh, some more cavalry. Yeah, some legion, uh, some Equites legionnaire, a legioness, and he's going to route the other one. So yeah, I mean, the Swaby's basically out of infantry, but their cavalry is still causing issues. But I don't think it'll be enough. They are starting to run out of stuff. And it's been an absolute massacre. I mean, well, for both sides, really. I don't think the Romans have got out of this very easily. They've lost so many troops. And you can see there are... Uh, the Cohors Ligurium sent in. And what's this? Cohors Delmantarium sent in, or whatever it's called. Yeah, they... Uh, they look awesome. They These swords down here, like their blue shields... I do love the like auxiliary units in this. I think they just had so much variety and like they look their shields look so gorgeous. I mean the red is also is amazing. I do love the red Roman shields. But like the green and the blue from the uh, co from the auxiliary cohorts is equally just as cool. 
And uh, yeah, well, I mean, they should overwhelm this unit. Look at this. Look at all these archers. I don't know where the... Is this the... Where is the first cohort? Oh, it's... It's still in there. It's not even lost half its men yet. It's lost a good hundred, but... It's it's still surviving. It's not got its banner carrier. He's he's on the floor somewhere. Dead. I'm definitely I'm sure of that. Can't even see where the first cohort's been fighting. If it's been fighting here the entire time, I'll never find the dead body of the eagle standard bearer. But uh, if they win the battle, they can pick up the standard, I guess. No one of the Romans have probably been routing so much. Their standards, they can't see the standard. But they've got a unit of cohorts over here. They might want to try and get that back. It's just chasing off into the field. You don't want to go running into the forest. You don't know what's there. You madman. And I mean, you can see that like, the last units of the uh, German infantry are starting to rout. Oh, excellent stabbing. And there you go. That unit's got an a silver chevron as well. Wow. Uh, but I'll, surely it won't be long till, I mean, the cavalry's just going to have to charge in and, like, try and do as much damage. I mean, it's what it's trying to do now, but, I mean, you can see the uh, Javis from the legions are going to just inflict as much damage as possible. These are pretty beaten up units. They've already been in combat. The Romans are just trying to form square on every unit, and then, uh, yeah, like they're doing now, these cohorts are just forming square. Should just do this and just see if the cavalry will uh, come at them. Make it a Napoleonic battle if needs be. But yeah, here's the, uh, I thought the, was there three legions? I don't think there was. But I thought that there was uh, at least two cavalry generals that were, uh, maybe there's just the one cavalry general. Who knows? But here's the uh, Custodes Pretori. They're doing their bit. Oh, that's going to be a good charge there by the uh, cavalry. Into the back of that Legion Air unit. Cut them down. Take as many Roman heads as you can for prizes. And there you go. A costly victory for the Romans. They did indeed hold off the, Ro uh, the German ambush. And uh, they live to see another day. And they can continue their march into Germania. They will have to regroup, replenish. But we can have a look at the end results. It's a period victory, apparently. But uh, thank you for Aiden, Coops, Joshi, and Gasleek for sending, uh, for doing this and uh, for sending it in. It's certainly a really, really good ambush. And uh, always great to see more DEI on the channel. Um, so I'll look at some of the end results. We'll look at Aiden's army first. Um, is Custodes Pretori getting 190 kills and still really fresh. So uh, that is a scary, scary start. They could have got some really good kills if they were in from the start, you imagine. Is Equites... Uh, Legionist, uh, the best one getting two to three kills. Um, his archers, 140, I think the best one. His uh, cohorts, Aquilae, the Eagle cohort, getting 164 kills and still just over half strength. So well done to them. They can pick up the standard and they can continue the fight and plant that Eagle deep into Germania. And now we've got the Cohors Evocati getting 269 kills and 240. So they did really well. His cohorts, uh, Legionaria. I think the best one getting 215, two getting 215, so well done to them. Uh, but yeah, most of them doing quite well though, uh, but a lot of them getting quite beaten up. And then we'll have a look at Coops' army, who's playing as the more auxiliary force of the Romans. Uh, he got 174 kills with his Equites uh, Legionna, uh, Legionis. His, his archers uh, getting 133 kills, the best. Um, and then like the best of his auxiliary units, I mean his cohorts, um, Dalmatarum getting 122. His uh, Italian Volunteers getting 109. His um, Cohors Legionari getting 119. Um, and his Cohors Ligurium doing pretty poorly, along with his African Cohors. But his uh, Legionari uh, Kalimbanorum, or whatever they're called, like the armoured the armored ones, got 148 kills. So well done to them. They did pretty well. It's one of his best units, I think, that on the battlefield. And then the Swaby, uh, who was played by uh, Joshi. 215 kills with his general, 175 with his cavalry units. His archers didn't do that great because they're firing at legionnaires, so it's going to be hard to get kills. His um, 
like his swords unit here getting 121. His, uh, I guess you call them light swords. They were like his pretty heavy ones. These are more his light ones. Getting only uh, 48 kills. Uh, 194 with this uh, sword unit here. Um, and his like axe units here, which like just kind of berserk is not getting that many kills. Probably because they're so vulnerable with like little armor on. Then Gasly, who is playing as the uh, Lugi. Um, his general getting 145 kills. His archers getting 64, so did better than uh, Joshi's. His like, I don't know what spear unit, this is, but it looks awesome. Uh, it looks like a nearly naked spear unit. 113 kills. Um, 114 for this spear unit here. 169, I think it's the best one out of this um, sword unit that he spammed out. And then uh, his so, like more heavily armoured swords here, getting 116, the best one. So, uh, well done to Gasleek as well. Um, but if you enjoyed and would like to see more DEI action, then please do remember to, to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And the legions of Rome will march on into Germania and conquer even more. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, then I will see you guys in the next one.